So I'm sitting here working on another reel that I blew up. This is the life of a bank fisherman because you're always dealing with undergrowth and crap. So this is the second one in three days. Complete spools gone, pretty much. My crankbait hooked some grass, and that was that. The spool just, whew. I did another one on, what was it, Friday? 15 pounds of Seaguar Invisex. Not 15 pound, 15 pound test, excuse me. Seaguar Invisex. My dark sleeper hooked a tree branch. Whew. There went the entire spool, pretty much. There was very little to save. And what I did save, I used as backing for the new spool of 15 pound Seaguar Invisex. And this here is Sunline FC Sniper, 12 pound. I'm trying to throw jerk baits and small cranks and stuff. So I'm sitting here. And I'm looking at it, I'm working on it, I'm trying to calm down, trying to not be so angry and frustrated with myself. Some of you may not know this, and some of you who watch know me really well know that I'm a devout Christian. And when I say Christian, I don't mean the kind that sits back and judges people but the kind that looks at my life and examines my weaknesses and areas of growth and tries to show compassion and empathy to others and to live a life that is... What's the word I'm looking for? Christ-like, as we say in the Christian faith. And I'm sitting here pulling at these lines and trying to remove this crap and I get this thought there's this reference um, analogy in the Bible that talks about how God uses fire, well they use fire to burn the um, to purify the metals, the precious metals to make, to remove the impurities And so what is there needs to be there, and what's not is gone. And I'm looking at my fishing line, and I'm looking at my the line I'm pulling off and what I've got left to do, and it's just like there's a lot here that needs to come off. And I'm thinking to myself, after I hear that thought kind of dance across my head, it's like there's a lot that doesn't need to be here that is here in my life. So, especially during this time with pandemic and everything and COVID and like, we're all stressed out. We're all freaking out, right? We've lost loved ones. Our, you know, we've seen f friends and family members get hospitalized because of this, 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 this disease. Dang. You know, jobs are lost and... There's a lot of stuff happening. This is, this is a rough time for everyone. And at the same time, we're all getting pruned as Christians. We're all being, we're all examining our lives and looking at, hey, what doesn't need to be here, or what can go. So. Be encouraged. You're not the only one out there. It's all right. God is good. We don't have to be perfect and go out there and fish. Enjoy it. Like right now in Minnesota, the colors are phenomenal. Like that's where I am. And I, I was out Friday. I took the day off from work, caught some pretty small smallies, like super small, like almost micro smallies, you know, but they're fun to catch and whatever, but the, the weather this Friday and today was just gorgeous. 
regardless of I catch any fish, it's just it's good to be outside doing these things. So take care guys, keep fishing, keep your head down, keep your chin up, do your job if you're working still, if you're in school. Obey your teachers. Listen to your parents. I know this is rough on all of us. And I know it's tough on the kids in school and in college. Like, no one could have planned for this. And we're trying to learn on the fly. So, And for those, those of us who are Christians, and we kind of feel like God is pruning us, Guess what? It's for a reason. So, keep the faith, fight the good fight, and one day, it'll all be worth it. Talk to you later.